causes of the Hungarian uprising. Khrushchev's policy of destalinization caused problems in many Eastern European communist countries, where people hated the hard-line Stalinist regimes that Russia had put in place. There was also trouble in Poland in 1956, and Khrushchev had to send in Russian troops. The Hungarians were patriotic, and they hated Russian control, especially the secret police called the AVH in Hungary. Russian control of the economy, which had made Hungary poor. Russian control of what the schools taught. Censorship and lack of freedom. The Hungarians were religious, but the Communist Party had banned religion, and imprisoned Cardinal Mincenti. Hungarians thought that the United Nations or the new U.S. President, Eisenhower, would help them. The events of the uprising. In June 1956, the Hungarian people began to protest against Rakaz's regime, and Moscow replaced him with Erno Gero. He was no more popular and on 23 October 1956, students took to the streets and were supported by the workers and the Hungarian army. As riots spread, the Soviets agreed to the formation of a new government under the leadership of the more liberal Imre Nagy, a popular communist leader. On 28 October, Soviet tanks began to withdraw and many Hungarians were now confident of American support. This led to more pressure for a series of sweeping reforms. The consequences of the uprising. About 20,000 refugees fled to the West. Nagy was tricked into leaving his refuge in the Yugoslav embassy and was hanged in Moscow in 1958. Kadir, a communist, ruled until 1988. He was loyal to Moscow but he allowed some freedom of discussion. Hungary was placed under strict communist control. In Eastern Europe, there was the realization that the USSR would not tolerate anyone attempting to break free from the Warsaw Pact. They also accepted that even if they remained loyal to communism it had to be on the USSR's terms. Events in Hungary were a clear warning to the other countries within the Soviet sphere of influence not to attempt any move towards independence. Impact on international relations. For a time East-West relations were very bitter. The Western powers accepted that despite Stalin's death, the USSR was determined to keep a firm grip over Eastern Europe and they were prepared to be brutal to keep the occupied states in line. The West was more or less powerless to influence events behind the Iron Curtain but they became even more determined to resist any Soviet expansion into the West. President Eisenhower faced criticism as his talk of rolling back communism and upholding the Truman Doctrine came to little as he did nothing to aid the Hungarians. However, getting involved behind the Iron Curtain was too risky. So despite tough talk in the West they appeared to accept Eastern Europe as a Soviet sphere of influence. It also showed that Khrushchev's commitment to peaceful coexistence did not mean that communism would submit to capitalism. He was determined to maintain communist control at any cost. This also meant that the relations between the two sides would continue to be tense.